evening everybody this is heavy bolter from the tiny warriors and tonight i'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on converting your models using real chains um, i like to just show real quick really quickly here uh, what i'm talking about and you can see on the waist there i use real chains for the mostly for black templar characters and for some uh, chaos. Uh, let me show you what I'm going to use as far as tools. Uh, I'm going to be using this on occasion, just in case. It's a, uh, what you call it, a needle, a needle tool. Got your usual exacto knife, just for whatever. Good pair of tweezers. Some glue, super glue, and then there's the chains. Um, there's a variety of chains that you can pick up uh, from arts and craft stores and I like to go to AC Moore or uh, Michaels uh, in my area um, or Joann's uh, Joann's Fabrics is actually a really great place for chains they have a great jewelry section so you go to your jewelry section basically and you look for stuff like this like this is blue moon chains blue moon beads actually it's for beading and what other jewelry but this is the 2.54 millimeter chain and this is actually a really nice size. And this one's actually even cool because it's actually already colored. So it's a nice color already. And you wouldn't even have to paint this if you didn't, you know, if you put it on like as an afterthought on a figure. And here's another nice color here. But these are good size. Um, I'm trying to use a different s style of chain in my more recent ones. You can see here this one is kind of a weird chain because it's got cuts in the links. So it has like almost squared off links. You can see the way when it rotates, that's the light bouncing off the uh, these weird angled links. Okay, so I'm going to use that for the belt. And this is a good size for the belt. You can see here. The size that it actually looks pretty cool when you put it there. And then I'm going to use another size for the neck chain. This is the smallest size that I have ever been able to find. I get this from a model shop nearby that um, has a little shelf for shipbuilding. And this is a shipbuilding chain. So if you're building little model, you know, wooden ships or whatever, this is the smallest one I can find. And I don't know what size it is, but it's damn small. And you can see, when I put it up against it here, how small it really is. Hard to see, but you get an idea. I mean, look at the size of that. That's so small. It fits around the guns. Fits around a bolter if you want to do that for your Black Templar figures. Or look at that. Fits right around the pistol. So it's perfect size, but it's the smallest you find. So look at a hobby store, hobby store, model shop, shipbuilding chains. That's what they're called. All right. So let's get on with the actual chain installation. So I cut myself a small piece of link here for the belt. And you can see there. Uh, this piece is just a little over half an inch. A little closer to three quarters of an inch actually. Now what I'm going to do is, my first application is I'm going to just fit it on there and see how it sits. And you can see it sits okay, but it moves. So what I like to do is, if you go to a, you know, your local gaming store or whatever, Zap sell, Zappa Gap um, sells these little nozzles, and you can actually add them to different glues. So it's made for the Zap, but this is a really thin one, so I, I don't like to use it too often unless for special applications. And this is the nozzle that's made for it, but this is a Loctite super glue that I got at Home Depot or at Target. And the nozzle fits just perfectly. And this is great for pinpoint application. As you can see here, I'm going to show you. And what I like to do is I want to put a little drop of glue carefully right there. And this is a very tricky operation. So most of the time, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Like that.
Okay, it glues into position right there. And I like the way that looks. So I like to put another drop of glue. If you can see it, I'll get, try and get it. It's under the shield. It's a little awkward, but I can get it in there. Yeah, I know. That doesn't sound good. I grab the link. And I can be a little more careless with this one because it's underneath the shield, but there's one chain belt and it's you know pretty fast to do now what I like to do is um, get a little glue behind it so it doesn't move and just let that dry maybe get a little reinforcement drop right there move it around a little bit with the uh, toothpick and Voila. There's our chain belt. So that looks good to me. Um, if you have zapped ex uh, glue accelerator and you want to speed the process up, you can do it like you can use that also. Um, most of the time I don't feel it's necessary. Uh, and now I'm going to move on to the chain, the small chain. So here's a small link. Uh, I just like to kind of fit it. So I'm going to tuck it behind that neck there. Just see how long I want. So that looks pretty good. Cut the chain with a pair of clippers. I'm going to grab the link that I think I want it to be right there. Give it a clip. <sighs> there we go. And now I'm going to apply this small chain. Same exact process. I'm going to put a drop on one end. Grab the links. Get it in there. It's really delicate, so it's kind of a pain in the butt actually to do, but I love the results. And I put a little drop then I go to the other end, extend it, try to extend it, and this is where the uh, needle tool actually can come in handy. Nah, you know what, the other end actually came out. Sometimes what happens is the glue will, and you can see what happened here. Got on the other links. Yeah, okay, so I like that. That's a good position. And let me just put a little more glue. Now this what I just did here, this is actually a really good application of the good place to use the thin. CA because it runs very thin and if you put a drop right there it'll get behind all the links and actually I'm going to demonstrate that really very fast here I'm going to put my little nozzle on this so this stuff is very thin CA you need to take a look you gotta be extra extra careful put one drop and it ran it's very capillary so it runs all behind the chain and there you have it chains on my Templar and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cheat a little bit I'm gonna finish this off with a little green stuff cross you can see it there I'm gonna add it to the end of that chain made this little cross with the little press mold. You see it actually came out really nice. And come on. I don't think I like
like these tweezers, they're a little too pointy if you want to switch. Alright, so I got that in the position that I want fairly easy. I'm going to use the thin CA again, thin zap thin, because I want it to be behind that pendant. And there you have it. That is the end of that conversion. Chain belt, chain necklace, pendant around the neck. Just to end it, I want to show how I would do the same thing with your basic uh, bolter for a DT player. This is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to use my pincers of light. This is a very cool tool. If you can get one, I forget the name of what it's called, but it's very awesome. I'm going to use the thin chain again. And what you got to do is you kind of want to fiddle with it to see how you want to wrap it. I like to do a little like X pattern like that. Might use too much there. Find a spot, usually over the thumb here, where the thumb meets the wrist. Not the thumb meets the wrist, the base of the thumb meets the wrist. I'll put a little drop of glue. It's kind of tough to work with the chains, but. So I glue down a spot. In this case, I want to use my little bit of a accelerator here. I apply a little bit of glue accelerator there just to get the bond quicker. And then I take the gun the chain and then wrap it ah, bastard let me get that back here then before the thing dries I guess the lesson of this is wait till the glue dries first and of course this glue is my finger Alright, so once I get the anchor point on the gun, I take it and I start to just kind of wrap it around. Use your imagination with this. I like to... There we go. Alright, so you see what I did there? kind of a lot of chain to use for one gun, but it looks cool. So I just kind of wrapped it around. Wrapped it around and found a little meeting point right there. Now this is the tricky part. Use the thin CA for this so it gets in the links. Just put a few drops, let the action happen, and I'm going to accelerate a little. Use my CA accelerator. All right. So then I find the point where I want 
that trinket? Sharper clippers. There we go. And that's it. That's the second conversion right there. A Black Templar Sword Brethren chained up bolt pistol. You know, I think this contraption here is messing up the video. There's a nice view of it. That's one side. No. Oh, I hate autofocus so much, but anyway, you get the idea. Okay, that's it simple techniques for customizing your figurines. Great for, like I said, Black Templar, Dark Angels, Chaos Marines especially. And anything you can throw at it. Okay, this has been Heavy Bolter, and I hope you enjoyed the video.